regardless of how that condensation was seeded, maybe it was a contrail. Because right now, Google's YouTube is telling you this is a contrail video. I just wanted to tell you about contrails. <clears throat> but look at the way everything is whipped into that shape right there. In the middle. All the intersections there at the crossing. crossing up there it's that's all filamentary baby filamentary Stop and show you that one. I might as well get a good close look at the rest of this impressive, very impressive sky. This is what we were watching earlier. We were just watching this a few moments ago and it was getting frizzy. Now you can see filaments again in it. Or now there is the appearance of filaments again in it. Tricks of light and shadow, maybe, maybe, doctor. I mean, there's, we got sun, there's clouds between this thing that I'm watching. There's a higher level of clouds between the sun and it. So light reflecting off it is sometimes in shadow through the ribs of this thing over here. Yeah, but I think what we end up seeing is sort of a slice. As the sunlight moves through there, we see a slice of the filaments that are in the patterns of the condensation of the clouds. In my opinion, I don't know what there is to, to know. I mean, I'm just saying that we're, we're surrounded by electricity all of the time. The entire universe is electric. None of this has much to do at all with gravity. And uh, everything you've been taught in textbooks is wrong. <laughs> Relativity is a good approximation method. The universe is not expanding. There was no Big Bang. There is an illusion caused by the idea of redshift. 
But it turns out there are other causes of redshift. There's a more prominent cause of redshift. There's an intrinsic redshift that has to do with the age of the matter as it condenses once it's blown off in an electrical arc from the center of a galaxy, let's say. A quasar is thrown off. It's younger and it has a higher redshift. And therefore, to astronomers, that quasar appears to be farther away and accelerating faster from us than the things in its foreground, the galaxy that actually spawned it. But there are many examples of these anom anomalous physical associations between quasars that should be billions of years farther away, billions of light years farther away from their host galaxies. You don't hear much about that. Halton Arp is a guy that was laughed out of astronomy. Oh, he just, he studied under a guy named Hubble. You've heard of Ed, Edwin Hubble? The Hubble constant, the whole idea that the universe is expanding. Well, not even Edwin Hubble was sold on that. He did, wasn't sold that the idea of redshift had completely to do with Doppler. But now it's dogma. It's dogma, man. There's so much science based on redshift. The whole idea of dark matter and dark energy has to do with redshift. It's called big science. We got your big science here, doctor. All right. We're gonna let you go, bye.